Well, the focus really, Juliana, has been on the stablecoin space. Just a very quick reminder about stablecoins. These are a type of cryptocurrency that are supposed to be pegged to a particular asset uh, in the case of USDC, which has been in focus, it is pegged one to one with the US dollars. The company that issued these claim these are backed by a uh, reserve amount of assets in US treasuries, uh, as well as cash as well. And they really are the backbone of crypto trading, allowing traders to, to move in and out uh, of different cryptocurrencies very quickly. So what happened to USDC? Well, its issuer, issuer Circle said that it had $3.3 billion worth of cash parked with the now collapsed Silicon Valley Bank. And as a result, <clears throat> this is what happened. A massive DPEG away from that $1 mark uh, with fears from investors that there could be a hole in the reserve of a Circle. Now, the US regulators then stepped in created that backstop and said that depositors at SVB would have access to their money on Monday. A circle came out, uh, followed with some reassurance saying that $3.3 billion with SVP would be fully available to its customers. This really was a, a first major test for Circle, and clearly it survived. You can see it regaining its peg as investor confidence returned. I want to show you a rival stablecoin issued by Tether, USDT. Uh, this was interesting because this did uh, de-peg to the upside. It went above the dollar as investors uh, rushed away from USDC and tried to find safety uh, in Tether at this point as well fearing that perhaps Circle could collapse. Now, the reaction really on Bitcoin was fascinating here in the broader crypto markets. And if we saw uh, what happened as a result, there was this big initial drop. Uh, firstly, as you saw there when the news came out about Circle, but a big rebound. I think that really is due to two things. Firstly, the confidence from the crypto market that, market, that Circle survived its first major test. That's given a lot of confidence to investors here in the broader crypto space. But secondly, it's that risk on sentiment we saw in the NASDAQ. Even though the other indices dropped, we saw a bit of strength in the tech sector. <clears throat> That has filtered through very much to Bitcoin here. Again, there's that feeling that perhaps some of these rate hikes might slow or even reverse. And that, I think, is really buoying Bitcoin sentiment as well. 